Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Token Reacts. We are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly, Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, I can Mr. Slick Live. I'm Bachelor Cloud. And of course, we got Cathadius on the ones and two. So um, due to recent conversations, we have heard that um, Patrick has missed out on a huge uh, chunk of the Nickelodeon realm in childhood. Now, not cartoon-wise. We don't want nobody to think that, of course, because, you know, Patrick does have his Saturday morning uh, watch parties that he holds on his Patreon and stuff like that. But some other gems that he has missed out on. Yeah. And so um, Cleo kind of brought this all of our attention, so I'm going to move the floor to Cleo so he can bring this up a little bit better. Cleo, the floor is yours. Thank you, sir. Um, Nickelodeon, known for its amazing uh, cartoon lineup, such as what, Hey Arnold, Doug, Rugrats, great, great times as all of us growing up as kids. But there was also uh, shows that had live action uh, hosts and guests, things like Figure It Out, uh, of course, all that. But then there was other shows that were right up the alley of which, you know, people like myself and my brother thoroughly enjoyed. And come to find out, everyone from around the world actually enjoyed some of these shows too. I actually watched a few of them on my Twitch channel and people lost it. It had been years since they've seen these guests, seen these hosts, seen these activities. Today, I'm bringing you guys a show called Guts. G-U-T-S, Guts. Do, 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 you have it. Da, 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 da. And the crazy part is there was Guts, and then there was Global Guts. Will, do you remember Global Guts when they brought kids Global in Guts. from Ukraine and Spain and yep. France, and they would speak their own language? They were speaking it, their it, languages? It was, it was like the Tri-Wizard Cup before the Tri-Wizard Cup. You were like, oh my God, this is yes. when you were really like, USA for kids. It was yes. like, yo, team USA, bro. You better represent. Yes, and they had their flags behind them. It was yeah. dope, man. So uh, Guts is a show. It's it's all about um, physical activities. And uh, at the end of the actual show, they got to climb this big mountain with different colors on each side. And there's fog. There's rocks falling on them. It's called the Agro Crag. And I'm not going to lie. I am on the hunt to actually pay for the actual... Uh, trophy that a lot of these kids got to uh, hoist over their heads some guy actually put it up for auction back in like 2006 and someone bought it off of them for like two thousand dollars that's it and i'm kind of mad that i didn't know about this because i would have bought it not bad it's dope wait till you see it though wait till you see yeah. it pat pat hasn't seen guts yet ladies and gentlemen i want to roll you guys into this episode kadeem's gonna play because i just wait, wait, watched wait, this wait, one wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't roll the footage. I didn't even get a chance to defend myself. You ain't you guys, watched the show. What are you going to say? You guys came in hot. He ain't never seen it. <laughs> He's never seen none of this stuff. Roll the footage. Let me explain myself, okay? Okay, okay. I came to Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network for cartoons, okay? Mm. When it, when, for, for whatever reason, whenever it was live action, I checked out. I never saw, uh, what well, you know, Another one that I get shit for. What's the Legends of the Hidden? Mm. Legends of the Hidden Temple? You never watch Legends of the Hidden Temple with Olmec? I saw the entrance, the intro a couple times. It's like stuff like that and like Wipeout and like American Ninja. I could watch for like five, ten minutes, but okay. I was never consistent on it. Okay. I just didn't like it. The only live action stuff that I, I watched was like all that. Kenan and Kel, and I realized that as an adult, it was because that was more in the sketch comedy lane. Not ah. really just like, I didn't really care about just like reality and games and stuff. I didn't watch Real World when everybody was watching that. Like yeah. literally, I, I just checked out all that stuff. So I, that's I, why I've never seen Guts and all this. Now, Pat, I, so. will, I will say this. To everything, you have a very, very great point. But I will say for this thing, though, the only thing excluded is about when you watch these things, this was like kids. So this was kids when we were kids. So it was just yeah. like, yo, when you saw this, so like you said, wipe out American Gladiator, it's like, that's all adults. So it's like, yo, that might not keep your attention. But to see kids doing this, and you're like, oh, snap, I really think I can do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was like the aesthetic you'd see, like Legends of the Hidden Temple, Guts, Figure It Out, Double Dare, like all of this was us. And then like you said, like you'd have like Kanan and Kale, the, the, the stars from all of that, be like guest judges and stuff like that. So it was yeah. like seeing those crossovers was just as amazing as the cartoons were, the live action side was just as dope yeah. on Nickelodeon at least. 
Yeah, we don't talk about Cartoon Network's live action. There was there was some weird stuff going on over there later on in... No. I didn't give a lot of stuff a chance when I was a kid. Like, Naruto, all that stuff. I was just like, nope. But as an adult, I'm, I'm more open to all these things. So, yeah, let's see. I really think you're going to dig this show due to, like, the overall, like, competition of it, maybe. But then Nick Arcade is the other one that I'm so excited for Pat to actually watch for the very first time because... I feel like Nick Arcade, they could hand us that IP right now and uh, we take it to the next level. A hundred percent. Oh, yeah. But we'll show Nick Arcade to you another day. Kadeem, let's get into guts. And I really want to highlight, I want you guys to keep your eyes on the guy who's representing the purple. His name okay. is uh, Brandon Ballistic Roska. Keep your eyes on the guy representing purple. Let's go. <laughs> From Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida, welcome to Guts, the action sports show that's going to make you sweat. And now today's fearless players wearing Bonsai Blue from Robinswood Middle School, Nitro Nickelodeon! From Robinson Middle School. Oh, he's a regular dude. I need this jersey, bro. What's up? Someone give me the, the link. I need it. Oh, I can make this. Side. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the legend. Ballistic. Brad Dad. Roscoe. Yo, every time I seen this dude, I was like, yo, this is Zach Morris's cousin or something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts. The action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Today, our players will be battling their way through four outrageous events. And after that, they'll get a chance to tackling our radical rock, the aggro crack. You can tell he smoked weed before happen. he recorded. His eyes are low, right? Points at the end of yeah, his eyes are doing winner, this. And he or she will be able to take home a glowing piece of our awesome This is roster. early YouTube. Now remember, oh, I need that. Here on Guts are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. Our players will be wearing safety equipment, and they will have a professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please, do not try this at home. Get now imagine you're the crashing way. the boards with David Robinson, Dennis Rodman, and a Akeem Olajuwon. No way, you say? Well, in our new elastic event, Rebound, no the way, you is yours. Another elastic sport event here on Guts. Let's go to our referee, Moore Quirk, for the rules. Mo. Hey, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge towards the center post. Players will get seven chances to grab the rebound. The player with the most rebound wins. Players all right, are so in they, place. They are getting up onto the aerial bridge, getting in place to start attacking those rebounds. And it looks like they are in place and ready. On your my mark, man get is set. focused. Keep your eyes right, on purple, bro. Rebound. Who's going to go up and get the first one? All three of our players coming up empty, and that is not an illusion, folks. Those players are jumping 12 feet up in the air. On your mark, get set. All right, and back. Talk about Let's going above it. the rim. There Wait. we go, right Give me there. Shit. Yank. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to tell, tell you. The arm like on this dude. One. If we on could have this right set. now, I'm in. Who's going to come out with the most after seven Take chances off. as our players go? <laughs> <laughs> Was Brandon on that one? He even got his foot up there on the top of the rebound. All right, gets another one, putting it in his Kid basket. Larry Bird. Away his basket. Dog. Your mark, You'll get see. Set. And look at the positioning right here. Our folks go right up and get right out. Oh! All three of them battling for that one. All look at this stage setup, bro. On your mark, and remember, they set. rotated these things too. Yeah, yes. Come on, Dennis Rodman, I'll take you on with my players here on guts. Is Brandon taking home another one of those? On your mark, get set. Stretch, look at the stretch right there, folks. And Brandon, bro, purple ain't giving these dudes no shot. He wants all the smoke, he wants to win. He is 30 years old. Here's the tip off. Who's gonna take it home? Nobody's taking that one home. So, Mo, oh, yeah, he is definitely not in middle school. This dude is a hot 11th grader right now. Full grabbed rebounds and tied in first place, both Nick and Blue and Tip and Red with no rebounds. 
Okay, we've been on sets before. Is this stage really that big with these lights, or is it optical illusion? Like, okay, let's see when they do a wide again, a wide shot. Is it really that big? Yeah, like, look how this, bro, look at this lights in the back. It looks crazy in there. It was great, man. Just fly up, just bouncing so high. You gotta get aggressive though, getting those balls. And you certainly were. You got four of them taking first place. Let's go to Mo and check out where he stands. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Brandon in purple, and tied in third place with 100 points each. Nick in blue and Tip in red. Aggressive is certainly the name of the game here on All right. Guts. First and right now, it's time for a event. We call spill your guts. Nitro Nick Rod is a fearless soccer star. When Nitro isn't rocketing across the soccer field, he's playing basketball or swimming. For Nick, guts equals tenacity. All right. All right. First event out of the way. You see that it's competitive for kids. A lot of sports stuff. How are we feeling off top, Pat? Since your first instance watching this. It's cool. It reminds me of a place I used to go to called Discovery Zone, where you got just got to do... I mean, obviously, it's a way extreme. We had no bungee cords, but, like, mm -mm. It, it, it was just sort of like a, a, a sport for unsettled down kids, as parents used to say when I was growing up. Uh, <laughs> so, no, it's, it's, it's cool. It's like American Ninja for, for, for kids. I like it. Okay. All right. There's a few other events that they got to go through uh, until they get to that main part, which is the aggro crack at the end. But we're going to let it play. That basic training. It takes place right here in our gym, the other end of uh, the extreme arena and our obstacles change every day let's take a look at what we've got working here today we got the cargo climb then the tarzan swing they're gonna go down the slide for life and then into the elastic jungle oh and okay i get climb. it now so they they'd be exchanged they'd be the rotating these out i was about to say the, 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 the other Boston. thing isn't there right, anymore I'll right no so, so the mountain so, so yeah so the mountain where they climb they don't move that but like all these other things that they're wins. doing they rotate these out all right the looks like nick is ready to go on your mark get set <laughs> that up the cargo climb he goes first now think a young nice pat think a young climb. will you watching this you don't feel like bro i'll blow all this out I'm beating every kid on there. Well, think about older Pat or older Will, because it's crazy. Somebody probably watched something like this smoke and was like, I wish I could do this. And then they made Fall Guys. This is Fall Guys. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. I'm not mad at you for that. We will go to Mo and get the official time, Mo. Nick finished in 27.3 seconds. Nah, bro. Not enough. Tiff can electrify herself. On your mark. Get set. Like, she don't know where she is. All right, Tiff going into this event tied with Nick in second place with 100 points. She's nope, having trouble done. making she it. Don't. Up the <laughs> 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 and she starts with the She time right across to the next platform. And then down through the slide for life. All right, she's at 16 Get seconds. Up. She's going to have to hustle the time to be 27.3. Oh, oh, God, no. She nope. she's going to walk nope. through the These legs are not working. Nope. Key. God, oh, damn. As she's oh my god, <laughs> she's in trouble. Trying to fight your way through Cleo, these big ropes are kicking her ass. I'm telling you. Man. Man. Walking elastics. through it so that the full flatness of your body is against that was ridiculous. Stupid move. Stupid move. Very stupid move. Looks like right there. All right, boom. My man Brandon Roska, though. All right, here but goes Captain America. Tip finished in 44.7 <laughs> seconds. Is this him? Seconds. Captain right, America. You so gonna see. Tip Watch out, my man came to play, bro. Performance enhancement drugs on this kid. Look at the smile. Look, he even knows. Right. Watch this. A little smile on the camera. <laughs> the man is confident as he makes his way up the cargo climb. And look at him. Making away. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait for him to no, no. out. The kid is out, bro. Watch out. He used to this. He used to this. Bro, look, he burrowing through. Yeah, they did this to me when they kidnapped me. <laughs> Dog, he ran up the steps. He said, screw the rope. This is what we had to do to get supper. Hey, Loki, he did all that and only beat dude by a second. By a second. Brandon I know that. I know the first dude. Kind of seconds. That puts him in first place. Nick in second place. Tip in third That wasn't that much faster. It that just was. made it. He was just doing it aggressively. <laughs> Making it through. <laughs> but look, see how he ain't grabbed that court that, that rope though. He said to hell with the rope. He just ran up, parkour and stuff. They told him to tuck the chin. He tucked it before he actually jumped off. And Brandon, right by my side over here. Let's go to uh let's go to Nick first. 
on that uh, last event. What did you find was the uh, th was the toughest event? Uh, the uh, Elastic jungle. jungle. Yeah, that was mostly the toughest. Uh, See, that looks like your kid. <laughs> now, what about the other dude? That, you know that next time He's like, this one's like, like <laughs> with the what? You when and this guy's like, yeah, you know, I just ran a 4-5. Oh. <laughs> when I, I started going as fast as I could, and the hardest part for me was the elastic jungle. because He looked like Anakin so Skywalker as a kid. He <laughs> really <laughs> do. Does it look a little bit more difficult than when you've watched he got a community our college. competitions on television? I already know. He's yeah. just short. A lot more. <laughs> All right, let's go to Mo and check out where these gentlemen stand now. Mo. Right now, Brandon in purple is in the lead with 600 points. In second place, Nick in blue with 300 points. In third place, Tiff in red bomb, with 200 team. points. All right. All right you the next yeah. event really ain't all that. They're in a pool. I know Pat hates water. Pat, do you want to see it or do you want to skip to the fourth one? Uh, Skip to it so I can see what it looks like. There's the pool. And they got to get booze. Back to guts, the action sports show yeah, let me see what the, the, the game is. And get all the way to the other end of the pool to pick up more buoys. There's ten. Always holds her ground. Oh. But Tiff to have to fight those waves. Have to fight those waves. Player will have 30 seconds to Definitely collect. Definitely look like it would be fun to do. As they for sure. can. Players must keep the buoys on their arm, and the player with the most buoys wins. Buoys. Right. And our players getting into place. It looks like. Nitro Yo, shout out ready. to Reebok for mark, sponsoring like every sneaker right, you see you on this camera. Jesus. You take a look at Nick as he picks up his first two. And going for two more in the corner right there. You see the other portion of the pool. He's going to have to fight those waves and get all the way to the other end of the pool to pick up more buoys. There's ten, possibly ten that he can pick up. And it looks like he has five already going for number six. And then he's got three more in the other corner with seven seconds. Oh, okay. It's one at a time. I get out. it. Yes. This. Move it fast and those right, let's waves, go to the, the last one. Not let's go to the easy. fourth one, which is actually way more of a uh, obstacle course. Through all sorts of terrain. And where my man Ballistic Brandon is playing no games with you. Ground with he ain't came force. to play with y'all, man. Jungle he needs his dub. His father's gonna make him go outside and train if he would have came back with a bone. Players down. Who will survive to the finish? First, let's go to Mo. Mo. Well, Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the track. Players must go through or over every obstacle, and time penalties will be added for any violations. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. That's Hang Nick on. first, and Nitro already on top. Up, the kid, nah, too nervous. The too river. nervous. Fancy footwork as he goes for the earthquake, and will he be able to make that through? No problem for him making it through the earthquake. <laughs> Now the jungle vines. The not of his legs work. Will. That boy Achilles could have gave out, bro, seconds. on everything. The These boys got some the fog. Will he be able to see his way through that? He certainly does as he comes across the finish line. What are they, 12? He went into this event with 600 points. It'll score. What about Texas, what about Texas boys results. doing this? They done broke all that shit. <laughs> all right, and Tip is right. Size 14 running on top of there. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I can't wait to find an episode with a young corner, black man and black girl. I swear to God. Look, they done jumped this, this whole thing. She comes into the earthquake. Careful, careful. That tipping ground. That fucking ground. She's at 12 seconds right now. The time to beat. Again, again. You know, those ropes, guys. Oh, those ropes. Yeah, she's going to have to hustle. She's going to overtake first place at 23 seconds. Coming across the swamp. I think she's going to make this. Finding one. her way through and across the finish line. That's tough, Tiff. Let's find out what her time was. Let's go to no, Mo. Tiff. Tiff clocked in at 28.7 seconds. 28.7, and Brandon is ready. On Will. Your mark, get Look set. at your boy Perp, though. Look, Look at your boy Perp. The screen didn't even catch up with him. <laughs> Here comes off. Barry <laughs> Allen <laughs> going <laughs> through. <laughs> Dog, <laughs> gone. Flash is here. He ain't here for no games, bro. I need this gold. Look, he already figured it out. Yeah, he won. He won. Oh, he's it. out. Let's cut the time in half. That's it. That's it. He kicked his ass in that. Find out. Mo. Brandon clocked in at 20.2 seconds. That puts Brandon in first place. Nick in second place. Tiff in <laughs> like, place. Yeah. I mean, yay. Right, so another first place finish for Brandon. Let's check out our leaderboard now. Brandon Purple is in first place with 1,000 points. Yeah, in no second shit. place, Nick in blue with 800 points in third place. We're going to let this rock kid even to the Spill Your Gut segment. I need you guys to see this photo. You stick around for... Oh. Oh. For sure, oh, audio's going. Gotta get to the top of the crag first on the rock in a moment. Dog, that that was my dream was to climb that big ass mountain. Fall guys. Yep, fall mountain. Back, I see the connection. We are getting ready for our final event, the Agro Crag event, the Supreme 
challenge here on Guts, that breathtaking mountain right behind me. Our players are going to be climbing up that momentarily. Let's take a look at where we stand. Mo! After four events, Brandon in purple is in the lead with 1,000 points in second place. Nick in blue with 800 points in third place. Tip in red with 600 points. And that is a look at where we stand. Now let's take a look at our first event, Rebound, our new Elastic Sports event. Take a look at the stretch right there. Purple and playing no games with him today, Will. Home, the I'm telling you, bro, he fights for home, meals First place in our Rebound That's event. And there's Tip. She goes the high road through the elastic think jungle. About it. All of them have some trouble. Like they got initially getting no siblings. That. They are only First children. Place in this event. And that was a look at that. Event. And then we take a look at Nick going for nine out of ten buoys in the body surfing event hang 10 he got nine out of ten and tied for first place with nah. Tiff, who i damn sure would have lost that event bro i'm sorry no way man, young me swimming like that gotta pick up these buoys in a big pool and they got this huge thing they got this huge bouncing thing in the water that's making the waves go up and down a lot of been in there yeah, that's where the big boy shine he already just floating right anyway. through the swamp fog fog and took first place in that event fantastic game so far our final event the aggro crag right behind me so pat that all three of them are climbing this to get to the top first encounter many obstacles okay. literally fall guys to yeah, the top yeah. Of that so that's crag. why like all the colors Falling are different rocks, so you got blue slime, red purple snowstorms smoke water let's go to mo and check out the rules mo Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side eight of the Eight targets, plane. Will? The first player to activate all of yeah. the targets. And Young the you, there's the fog, the mountain, there's lights, there's rubble. Place points, eight right. targets right, you gotta so hit? Our players get ready to nah, go bro. The aggro crag. Let me remind you that the this points of sky rocketed in this final event. And you're on Third TV. being worth 375. Right. Points, second place 550 and first place 725 points that mountain is smoking that mountain is ready it is thundering and calling for our players so let's kick off this final event mo players on your mark get set and the whistle means boulder canyons up first as you take a look at our red player tip making wait look at brandon pat Slippy you worked at um laser zone yep. For those who don't know, it's a laser tag placed out in the valley. And for sure, the arena for laser laser zone was this but flat. All the rocks and caves and stuff. So, so bro, bro, look at Perk. No, he don't. He up. Dang. Blue getting his ass whooped. This was not his right here, buddy. Are those rocks he's trying to falling at you? Boulders yes. falling down. Oh. Come on, Tim. That poor kid. Glitter. Oh, he's stuck. Boulders. Fog. Come on, girl. What you doing? You right there. Get up. What's up? Boom. This nigga Blue's getting his ass whooped. <laughs> I wish Laser Tag was like this. In there first place on the aggro crag, Brandon in purple. In cool, second dude. place, Tiff in red. This event is in all three? Is in every episode? Every yeah. episode. All right, take a look as Nick hitting his second actuator after making it through Boulder Canyon gets slimed. Dog, there's the no... They got, you got goggles on, Hesitating. Will. Wow, it was it, like their stuff is coming. I like blue like couldn't come see tumbling nothing. down on him first in the right. Look at Perk. Look at how Perk is first to him, dog. Front, then the rocks come down but he on, on a bunch of episodes, or is this his only episode? Nah, see this is the only episode. Day. But hey, it's crazy to know how much of an online legend he is for people like myself who went back and watched Guts. Everyone co-signs that kid like, yo, y'all should have brought him back to wipe out everybody. Yeah, he was really good. In place today with 1,150 points, Tip is red in second blue with 1175 points jesus he just today, didn't Brandon miss he missed on the on the uh the be good one. Be good one. all right so only 25 all right so boom they get presented uh with a with a place, medal of course the first place winner gets a piece of that aggro crag they go to this little podium set up here um, i like how he just jumped up boom the silver medal going to nick Shout out to Nick. What a great 
Great job, also tying in hang 10. And the gold medal going okay. to Brandon. Ballistic Brandon rocketing his way to the top Ballistic of the ground. Brandon. Ballistic Brandon. But this piece of that trophy though will. He earned it today. Agro crag, bro. He showed his aggressiveness. The aggro crag. He showed his power. I need that in my life, in my collection, bro. In my childhood, need that. What is it, like an emerald? It's supposed to be a piece off the actual mountain. That's what they say it is. So the fact that it's glowing like that, it's big. I thought it was dope. Shout out to Reebok for sponsoring every damn sneaker you see in this episode or across the board with Guts, man. But yeah, that is Guts, Pat. And uh, Hey, the pool heat pump got a shout out. Where? The, 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 the heater uh, that heated that pool got a shout out. That's wild. Hey, it's man, they cool. cut corners across the board. I feel like I would have watched this. I would have watched this for sure, even though I don't like the whole live action thing. I feel like I for sure would have watched this. For you would have sure. watched the Nickelodeon stuff. Everything else you have a very valid point on, Pat. But I think like these were like the exceptions to go, okay, I get it. That's what all of this was for. Everything else is just kind of like, Okay, you got about five, ten minutes with me, and I'm going to the next thing. Big facts, man. Uh, Global Guts, like I said, was the updated version where they brought kids from all over the world, and, you know, they, they would talk about their countries, where they're from, they would have their flags, and I thought that was really cool to include, you know, different countries involved with being sports, of course, you know, the, the Olympics. So I, I understood what they were doing even as a kid. Mm -hmm. But it's such a dope show, man, watching it, knowing that, man, if they would have brought that anywhere else, outside of Florida, because it, it was shot in Orlando, Florida, but geez. You guys remember when Nickelodeon used to talk about taking over your school? Like they would pull mm -hmm. up and supposedly take over your school? You guys ever heard about that? Yes, no. I do. I oh, do okay, well, Will did. So well, Nickelodeon used to have like this competition where they, uh, they would say that we'll come and take over your school for a day. And I don't know if it ever actually happened. I have a theory, I'm like, there's no way they pulled up to like Phoenix, Arizona. At a, at a elementary school and just had all the Nickelodeon people, like the people from all that, set up guts kind of like, um, uh, uh, what's, that, what's that called, a course for people to run. There's no way they did that. So they probably only did it in Orlando, but Will, go ahead, bro. Oh no, sir. So um, thanks to just being a very inquisitive mind. I'd be wanting to know all this stuff, cause I'd be high. So what I found out was that they did used to do that, but it was a paid type of thing. So what would happen would be was you would have like let's say if your school did very well on something and got like a, uh like you know how like when we took like tests and you get like hey this school did so good in their academic percentages outside of everybody in the country uh, outside of everybody in the state everybody in the country those are the ones that would get elected and then they would have to pay for all of that stuff for that to come in but they wouldn't have as to pay as much but was that the marketing to get all those kids to study hard yes that's what it was because it i remember like they weren't actually picking anybody to fly across because that's expensive bingo right no that's no, no. it was it was definitely for us to be able to do more reading for us to be all because it was always about academics it was always about sports and stuff like that when it came to nickelodeon really like getting us to be like active and, and learning and stuff like that but nobody was coming to like port arthur texas for to <laughs> take over our school hell no fucking Rugrats suits would have went missing. <laughs> but to to Pat, I mean to Cleo's point about it filming in Orlando, it's a great thing about this show. I was almost on it. Oh, I tell the story, Will. The show. So um, my parents and I went to Orlando on vacation, and we went to Universal Studios, and we went to Disney. The whole whole theme park run. Right? Nickelodeon was near Universal Studios. And so at the end of these shows, they would always say filming in Orlando and they were holding open auditions for Guts, Wild and Crazy Kids. And then um, it was another show that they were developing, which was funny because they were bringing back Double Dare. Mm. And so I was like, yo, I gotta be on Guts. Cause just like how clear it was, I was like, I gotta get the frag. I need to um, need it. But my mother gave zero fucks about that and said, you already here on vacation. You didn't got enough. Get your ass on these rides and appreciate what the hell you got. Oh. So yeah, oh. um, I missed out on that. Missed out on uh, being on Guts, but, and uh, didn't get a chance to get a picture with Mickey. Still have it after all these years. 
Um, when Disneyland opens up again, well, I'll make sure to help with that, bro. It is on my bucket list. And, and the right Mickey, let me just state that for the right Mickey. I, I went to Disneyland and I don't have good friends because they was like, well, you can, like, there goes the other, they got several Mickeys. You can take the Mickey. These bitches tried to get me to take a picture with Steamboat Mickey. And that's that, Steamboat are. Willie's the OG. He's the first Mickey everyone ever saw in animation. He can kiss the lower end of my left testicle. Okay. I don't want no okay. goddamn picture. I, I'm not having this discussion with I you. want the suit, Pat. the yellow shoes, the one that's married to Minnie and is happy. The Pat. one to be in town hall. Pat. I like Steamboat Mickey. He's the first guy. He's the, his name is Steamboat Willie. First of all, I don't like it's anyone. Willie? It's Willie? It's Steamboat Willie. I don't like anyone else. He's not this. Mickey yet? No, that I'm no, aware of no, the no, name no. of that episode is Steamboat Willie. Yeah. I yeah, think but you can... Mickey's character was named Willie? That, that the draw, the original drawing Mickey is based off of, yes. Steamboat Willie, yeah. It's actually, nice too. Oh, think... that's just actual name of that episode. Mm. I think that Mickey is actually up for grabs. To Walt mind. Disney's Mickey Mouse in Steamboat yeah. Willie. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, that, that's too big of a bomb to drop right now. Yeah. <laughs> You're 20. That's what 20. He, that's what Mickey's real off. original name is Willie? Willie Mouse? Mm-mm. Willie Mouse. I wouldn't be able to do it. Shout out to Mortimer Mouse, man, for all the Disney fans. Y'all know who that is. All right, man. Uh, Will, we will make sure to get you a picture with Mickey, the original. Uh, Pat, it's great to know that you've now watched Guts. Thanks you for know what it is. And I, liked it. I think you could appreciate it now differently as an adult. I don't think you would appreciate it as a kid as much, but as an adult, you get it. You get the show. Look how much I had to go into a show like that, Pat. That's a lot. I appreciated it. Yeah. yeah. I would have wanted to I would have wanted to do that as a kid for sure. For right. sure. That, that's the is. only thing we were saying. Yeah. There it is, man. Well, oh, yeah. bring us home, brother. Oh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Token Reacts. We want to thank y'all for checking this out. Uh, Let us know if this was your first time seeing this show. And if it was, let us know in the comments how you feel about it. If you did see the show, also in the comments, let us know how did it make you feel nostalgia-wise to see this game, to see the aggro crag, the aggro frag being uh, lifted up. Definitely got to uh, find one of those for Cleo as well. So Hell yeah. make sure, though, that y'all uh, check out the Arcade Tokens YouTube channel and social medias. Make sure that you follow, you subscribe, and you turn on notifications. Make sure you also check out our Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Arcade Tokens, and our personal Twitches, twitch.tv slash Will Ferrell slash Patrick Cloud slash Cleo Thomas, and of course, slash Cathadius. This has been another episode of Token Reacts. We have been the Arcade Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Ferrell. Cleo Thomas, I give us a slick living. I'm Petra Cloud. And shout out to Kadeem, the tech guy. We will catch you next time. Legends of the Hidden Temple in the next episode. Be here. Okay.